Let's just start calling these uh, Tiny Mike Wednesdays. <laughs> starting the second quarter of the season. With the way things have gone the last couple of weeks, what are you looking at as far as what you guys need to do to get a win Sunday in Miami and get going here? In Most definitely. I think we learned a lot from these last four games that we played in, uh, good and bad. Did a lot of great things, in my opinion. A little small things, you know, changed the, de- the outcome of games. And I think if we continue to correct those on defensive side, obviously, containing quarterback, tackling, things like, like that. And all those small things that we execute uh, uh, if we execute those small things well, the result would be a lot more wins. So that's our, our goal. After watching the film of the game, did you, why did you feel like you guys had trouble containing the quarterback? Good question. Um, just a little small things once again. Uh, there was a few just, I guess, uh, miscommunications on how to execute certain things. Uh, so when you get those type of miscommunications, it's up to the player's discretion, you know what I'm saying? And things like that happen. Also playing a good quarterback, he's going to find a way to extend the play. So we did some good things, but we got to do great, great things, you know what I'm saying? So do our small things not good, but do the small things great. How difficult is it to lose David Andrews? Oh, it's, it's, it's tough. He's a leader. He's a captain, been for a long time, uh, has the admiration of a lot of guys on the team, um, is, is a dog on the field, plays through everything. And I know he wanted to play through this, but, you know, Life always comes at us with a lot of different things. I know he'll handle it how he handles it. And we're always going to pray for him for his health and everything else like that. And then uh, we'll prepare the guy or they will prepare the guy who's behind him and make sure that he's good. But I, I have a feeling that even though David is not going to be on the field, he'll still be in the locker room, in the meeting rooms, on the sideline, things like that. He'll still be in our presence. So I think uh, we'll miss him on the field, but we'll definitely hear his voice a lot. Dietrich, for you guys on defense, no question, you've, you've lost a couple pieces this year with Barmore Moore and Judon and Nuppet. Um, still the numbers, uh, are, how do you guys feel about the performance from, through the first four weeks? Are you a little surprised that it hasn't been? It's supposed to be you know, a real strength of the team. I'm surprised when you some of the numbers. I don't know what you mean by surprise. So can I, I know uh, what you mean? The, the, the defense has been uh, not performing as well as in, in previous years. Yeah, got gotcha, you. Got gotcha, you, most definitely. Uh, it's uh, October. I feel like we have a lot more ball left. I feel like if you judge us now, you judge us prematurely. So, there it is. What's the level of frustration in the locker room now when you're trying to turn the page on a tough couple of games? And, and how do you, I guess, turn that page when you have a couple of captains who are getting injured in the yeah. yeah. You know, I want to say we're frustrated. I say there's challenges. Uh, to those out there who are real competitors, uh, go-getters, uh, night hours, early morning people, there's always challenges that you face in life that you have to go get through, you know, whatever that may, may, may be. This is one of those challenges. So it's almost like this is the the game within the game, learning how to face those challenges. I want to say it's uh, Marcus Aurelius that says, um, whatever is in the way becomes the way, right? So that's kind of what it is. Like whatever's in that way right now, that's that's, you may say it's an issue, whatever, whatever it is, that becomes now the challenge that we have to face. And that's what we're doing. Are we in your way? <laughs> right now, yeah. <laughs> I got to practice soon. <laughs> we just heard from Jacoby, and he was asked about being hit so often. He always said, you know, one time, I can't say one time. We just heard from Jacoby uh, the response about getting knocked down frequently, getting sacked a lot, having your latest career and that kind of he said he knows what it means to the team he gets back up. He's always going to get back up. What does it mean to the team? The quarterback is under that kind of press, under that kind of pressure. It shows the toughness that he's coming back. He's all the other stuff. I mean, you said it. It shows toughness. It shows determination to get through whatever he's going through because I know it's not easy to get hit. I mean, I do a lot of hitting, but I don't get hit, you know? So I know when you get hit over and over again or get hit just once, it's tough to get back up. But he's showing his team that he's willing to get back up and get through the the, the challenges, the pains, whatever the case is that is in his way. And that shows the team, hey, he's, he's going to do it. We're going to do it. Fight for him, get the ball back in his hands. Dietrich, it just seems like you guys have done a good job applying pressure on early downs. With early downs, it's been a bit of a struggle. Mm-hmm. Can you speak to what makes it so difficult to be able to apply pressure when, you know, those early down situations and sometimes you don't really know what's coming? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, early downs are uh, based on the team we, we, we play is always 
run a pass, right? And we and I guess my philosophy is like plan the plan the pass through the run or plan the plan the run through the pass. So like if I if I know I'm out there and they give us a run look, it's most likely we're gonna be playing the run until we see the pass. So just we have to work on being able to get our blocks a little bit faster when it comes to play actions, run looks that actually pass, boots, things like that. We do a good job, but once again, we gotta do our small things great. Thank you very much. Y'all have a good one.